Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and today I'm going to show you a 2022 King Air. This is a new coach. It's the 4533 floor plan. Uh, King Air, as you all should know, is a top of the line in the Newmar lineup. Uh, the 605 horse, 45 foot, all of the luxury features. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started walking around the outside, and then we'll take a look at the interior. Uh, first of all, uh, when you notice the three steps as you're going in, this tells me it's a 605 horse uh, unit. The London Air, the Essex, the King Air, they all have these steps coming up. And one thing about them, they are, well, I've got the, the switch off so they're not running in and out each time I open the door, but they are censored. So if you've got a curb here or a stump or somebody's leg and it comes out and hits it, it stops right there. It doesn't keep going and, and crush into it. So great step there. Uh, as we move down, this happens to be on a Spartan K3 chassis. Uh, all of the uh, new air or all of the King Airs are built on the Spartan. Again, we've got our dual fuel fills and like all the new mars this is protected with a steel plate right there where your fuel lines are very important feature nice docking lights all the way down when you're uh, out here at night hooking up or putting things away you get plenty of light and another nice thing is the compartment doors as you see they're electric so when they release uh, they've got a little actuator there it's actually got a soft close feature, so you'll see when I close it, I don't have to slam it. Kind of uh, closes itself. So in this first compartment, lots of space here. Uh, these are our hoses and uh, attachments for the vacuum system that we have. Uh, there's a hookup outside and one inside. But look how nicely finished these compartments are. Uh, Numar just does a great job all the way through. And again, these compartments as they come in, one thing you'll notice, my, uh, my hinge here, it's going to come up as I slide it in. And the reason, and then again, soft close. The reason it does that, this floor comes out with the more floor and it drops a few inches. So by making the hinge this way, it gives you a taller compartment door when you want to access this storage compartment. Otherwise, the door would have to be at this level. Maybe you've got a real tall uh, item you want to get in there and it wouldn't fit. So this is a, uh, a raised rail chassis, gives you that extra storage there. Okay, back in this compartment, we do have a slide out tray. This is a 91 inch uh, tray and it is electric. It'll go in and out both sides. And again, you just have to Close the door, you don't have to slam them, they shut themselves. Uh, while we're down here, this is a good point, uh, place to point out what we've got here in our star foundation. You can see these uh, diagonal members here. Uh, Numar actually welds on this superstructure to the chassis to give it a more robust, uh, stronger chassis or platform when you're putting all the heavy tile in there, the residential refrigerators and the appliances. It's important that you don't get any twisting in there and, and uh, crack your tiles or pop your grout. And that's what this star foundation helps with. And again, another full uh, 91 inch slide out tray. You can see in there, there's a, a few extra tiles also. Okay, now this compartment, we've got our refrigerator freezer. And this pulls out a long way. Uh, when the slides are open, you can open it up both sides. And this is set up so one side could be a freezer, the other side could be a cooler. So one for your uh, drinks, uh, beer and soda, and one for your frozen meats. Or if you want to have a both as a freezer, you can do that. And uh, back behind there, you can see we've got our Oasis system and some of the control panels in there. We also have uh, 110 outlets and several of the panels. There's a couple right here if you do need extra power for anything. 
that locks in and again soft closed doors now behind this one this is where they put the TV in this floor plan not every model uh, allows a, a TV to be up into the sidewall. I actually kind of like the TV here when you're sitting out under your awning. Your head's more in a down position instead of having your neck, neck kinked and looking up all the time. Uh, you do have a Bose soundbar with it. You can Bluetooth in uh, music from your phone. You can uh, you know, use this on the uh, inside radio. So you've got different uh, sources to, to uh, feed to that. Uh, speaker there. Now that's a 43 inch and I believe the, the TVs this year were 8Ks for Numars, believe it or not. Another compartment here. There we go. And this is one of the most important changes they made in uh, 2022. They've got a lithium battery pack. Now this has got two power packs and they're 1260 amp hours each so a total of 2520 amp hours and two 3000 watt inverters with this uh, you can actually run one of your inside air conditioners off your battery power and i'm doing that right now so when we get inside i'll show you how much uh how much battery power we have left a uh, couple of nice features about this system. Number one, they have a, a safeguard built in there. When you get down to 10%, it's going to shut your systems down and save that energy. You have a button over here, and there's one on each side, one for each battery pack. Uh, when you hit that button, it turns that power back on. And on the other side, you've got a generator switch right there, which you're probably going to want to fire up your generator to charge those batteries once you uh, turn them back on. But these charge three ways. It'll charge off your generator, it'll charge whenever you're plugged in, and it'll charge when you're driving down the road off the alternator. This also has a solar pack. There are four uh, 100 watt solar panels. So you're putting a charge into your battery from the solar also. Okay, steerable tag axle. Easy way to tell, there's two different hubs on it. So this is your, your fixed axle. By the way, the front axle is a 20,000 pound independent front uh, steering. This is your steerable tag axle, a little cant, something like 14 degrees on a Spartan. So when you're backing into a tight spot or maneuvering, you're not scrubbing the tires. They actually cut down that turning radius quite a bit. Okay, this is some of the things that are a little unique to the Spartan chassis. Number one, this is uh, one of the def fills. You can fill your def from each side. You have 15 gallons of def and I believe this one is a hundred and sixty five gallons of fuel on the 2022 and then back here we actually have our emergency suspension uh, if you were to, to lose air in one of your airbags and couldn't air it up you can do it manually right here there is an auxiliary air compressor with this unit so you could get yourself up off the uh, if your levelers are all the way down get it up to ride height and uh, drive it into an emergency center if you need to then in this last compartment, we have our two uh, chassis batteries, 12 volt chassis batteries, a couple of 150 amp uh, master fuses. So when I'm gonna store this for a while, I'm gonna shut both these off and completely isolate these house batteries. There'll be no parasitic drain on it. Right here, you can see this is where I can turn on my auxiliary air compressor. But also with the Spartans, nice feature, you've got your air dryer here and your water separator. And these are items that need to be checked and need to be um, replaced every two to three years. So it makes it very easy to uh, get to them, replace them if you're the kind of person that likes to do that yourself. And then what we've got right here is our air actuator for the rear door. So I'll, I'll leave this open so I can shut it in a bit. So here we have our 605 horse. This is the X15 Cummins, <coughs> excuse me, 1950 foot-pounds of torque. This is about the biggest engine you're going to get in the RV industry. And <coughs> obviously with the rear radiator, it makes it so much easier to access everything here in the engine. 
your oil fill, your dipstick, uh, your coolant, your transmission right here, your oasis fluid, <coughs> all right here, easy to access. This is your gauge for your air filter, lets you know when you need to replace that. And again, easy to get to your air filter. And then we also have a, uh, an outlet here. Uh, dang it, there we go. So if I wanna plug in my coach and preheat the engine, I can do it right there. And again, this door is uh, power activated. So I'm gonna come over here, just flip that switch down. And again, it shuts itself. Now, on the back, we've got our camera here, and this has got the 360 camera system. You have them on both sides. You have a camera up front. Uh, the, uh, the Spartan K3 chassis has your uh, collision avoidance, your adaptive cruise control, your lane departure, and so forth, all the safety enhancements. This camera is kind of nice because you can change the angle. If you want to look straight down to hook up a trailer, look back more at a broader, broader view, you can uh, change that inside. Also, with the, uh, with the Spartan chassis, we have our two and a half inch receiver. This is rated at 20,000 pounds. You have a hookup for a Voyager here. Maybe you're pulling a stacker trailer and you've got a camera on that one that you want to keep an eye on. You hook that in right there. This is our Kirk brake controller and our seven-way plug. Um, it is an option that we put on this. You have the integrated brake controller. So if you're pulling a trailer that does have air brakes, you're all set and ready to go right here. And again, 20,000 pound towing on this one. There's a button inside, it's called safe haul mold safe hauling mode basically what you're doing if you've got 2,000 pounds of pin weight which is a lot it's transferring a lot of that weight to the front of the chassis throughout the whole chassis so you don't have it just hanging on the back it makes for a safer towing okay as we come around the driver's side again you notice it's a side radiator and one thing about them not only are they larger they get better airflow so they help keep the engine cooler better when you have a side radiator while we're here, I'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the slide outs. I haven't pointed out the flush wall slide yet. And this is one of the things I really like about the Numar. The fact that your slide outs are tucked in, they don't overhang with a, a fascia board like so many of them do. The ones that overhang, if you're driving down the road, wind and rain and weather can get forced in there around your seal. With these, they tuck inside the sidewall. It's quieter, you don't have the air noise, it makes a better seal, you just don't have any leaks. So they do that with all the doors. This door here happens to be an emergency door uh, behind the toilet in the bathroom. I'll show you when we're inside. But all of them have that, uh, that flush wall feature to them. Again, steerable tag axle. This compartment here. We've got our uh, other battery pack. Like I say, there's two power packs here. Uh, you can see you've got a generator start button. If you are gone somewhere and you've left lights on, you've left furnace, whatever, and this runs all the way down to 10% and it shuts the systems down, you come over here, you hit this button, get uh, tap into your reserve power, and then right away you're probably going to start your generator and start you know charging the batteries that way this compartment is also heated and cooled uh, if you know anything about lithium batteries uh, real hot weather and cold weather freezing can be a problem for them so they have you know put in a climate control system with these two battery packs okay here's our water closet and uh, number one it just looks simple sleek very uh, easy to figure out and use. We do have a macerator system right here. This is like a garbage disposal for your black tank and it pumps the solid waste out so you can actually pump it uphill if, if your drain is a little bit higher than your coach. Whole house water filter. Uh, we do have the electric black and gray valves. Now you can drain this coach, gravity drain it, their traditional way if you want. Also you can see our auto uh, tank fill, whether we're working on city water, whether we're gonna fill it to dry camp, uh, you, you do that right here. 
We can monitor our tanks, monitor our batteries, and then most importantly, this is a great feature. This is the manifold system that all King Airs have. And basically, it is a hot and cold water valve for every faucet, every shower you've got in there. So if my main shower is dripping and I want to work on it, I can turn the hot and cold water off without shutting off the water to the rest of the coach and go work just on that component. So uh, extremely nice feature there. And then of course, you do have a manual uh, uh, water hose reel. Let's see, where's my button on this one? It's power out and manual back in. Same on your 50 amp electrical cord. You can see we've got our winterization kit right here and we obviously run antifreeze through our lines. That's what that blue is you're seeing right there. And uh, check this out for an outside shower. It's like an actual shower. Uh, nicer than most of them you're gonna find. Okay. And again, you know, the, the unique feature with the hinge on the door that lifts this door up tight when it's closed, but uh, drops down so when our slide out comes out and the more floor drops, you know, we're not running into the bottom of the slide out here. Just gives you a little taller storage compartments, makes it easier getting in and out. And just like inside, they have the soft close type feature. Uh, 50 amp power supply. This has got our crossover circuit part of the climate control system. You do have a 30 amp outlet here, so if uh, maybe you're pulling a, a stacker trailer that's got power and you can plug it in here to run your coach or your kids are coming behind with their little uh, tent trailer or uh, travel trailer, they can plug in and power off your generator if you're out dry camping. <clears throat> this is the back side of our slide out tray. So again, <clears throat> full electric, pass through all the way, 91 inch slide out trays. And when I look at the interior, how they finish the bottom of the tray, the bottom of the compartments, even the side walls. I mean, that's, that's nicer than I've got on my boat, I think. <coughs> Another slide out tray on this side. And then here, one of the nice features of the new lithium battery pack is it frees up this compartment. This used to be where your eight uh, AGM house batteries would go. You notice there's a pressure sprayer here, and that's kind of nice, because after you, you know, travel eight, 10 hours, uh, depending on where you're going, there can be a lot of bugs. You can uh, pull that out, have hot water to, to pressure wash your coach right here. Okay, this is another fuel fill. There was one other def fill in the back on this side that I didn't point out, but you can fill both fuel and def from both sides. And then this compartment, it has a lot of our chassis fuses here. So if blinkers aren't working, maybe your seat or something, you can come out and, and check these fuses. They do give you some spare fuses, label everything. And they also have a switch here for our generator compartment. Now this is a 12,500 uh, quiet diesel generator on the slide out tray. Makes it easy for somebody my size to get in here and do any work that I need to. Uh, there's your uh, windshield wiper coolant, uh, your oil filter for your generator. Makes it easy to service. See, we've got a couple of our regular horns. We do have the big air horns here, so when you arrive, you can let them know you're here with a loud <laughs> verse. And again, it's all <coughs> electric running that in and out. Okay, and then uh, back here up front, part of our mobile eye or your collision avoidance system. This does have active brake. Uh, <coughs> adaptive cruise control, lane assist, blind spot monitoring. So, you know, if you're getting too close to traffic in front of you, it's gonna slow you down with your cruise control on. If you're crossing a lane line, it lets you know there's a haptic feedback on the seat that uh, lets you know that you're, you're going out of your lane. Okay, well, let's, uh, 
Let's go inside and take a look. Sorry I couldn't get the awnings open today, but uh, they needed to adjust them to make sure they're coming out and stopping at the same spot. So they asked me not to, not to operate them during the walkthrough. Let's go ahead and have you step inside. <coughs> okay, again, this is the 4533 floor plan. This is what it's like when you travel. And I do want to show you that, you know, it's easy to get back here, uh, get through to your kitchen area. You know, most importantly, you want to be able to access your refrigerator, both doors. I can get into my half bathroom with the slide closed quite easily. Uh, I have pantry here that I can get to. So it doesn't make it impossible to get through when you're traveling, which is a nice feature. And this being the 4533 floor plan, it actually has the patio side dinette. And I kind of like that. You're, you're looking out under your awning on, on your patio. So this is what it travels like. Let me go ahead and get this opened up. I need to step back up front. So both of these are the heavy HWH slide mechanisms because of the tile in the slide out. More floor is, is what Numar refers to that as. And when you get them opened up, it really gives you a lot of room. There we go, we'll wait for them to drop all the way. And there we go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the bedroom slide and then we'll start back in the bathroom today. So let me get this open for you. Now when I brought this out, and we're going to be 90 today, it's hot. I turned on the uh, living room air conditioner <clears throat> using just the batteries and the inverter. And it's actually quite cool in here right now. <clears throat> One thing I do want to point out while we're right here is the windows in the King Air. These are the dual pane bonded windows. And if you look, uh, let, let's go back up front here and just let me point out, look at the size of these, how tall they are and they go all the way to the corner. The frame of the slide out is actually the frame of the window and these bonded windows are bonded right to, you know, the slide out frame. There are options for cabinets in your overheads, but when you don't put the cabinets in there, look at the view you get. This is like being in a bus. And the only products that have this in the Numar lineup are the King Air, the Essex, and the New Air. So very unique windows here, real spacious feel when you're inside. And that's all the way through uh, living room, kitchen, into the bedroom also. <clears throat> you can see that as you come back. Beautiful, uh, you know, window at the head of the bed and at the side of the bed. And although these are an option, these cabinets, which we did put in this one, you could leave this out and actually have a taller window there. So like say, very much like your, your Newell's or your Prevost or, or something like that. <clears throat> okay, let's start back here in the bathroom. In all the 45 foot Numars and the King Airs in particular, you're gonna get the largest shower possible. For starters, this is the uh, uh, 50 by 34 inch shower. And you can see I'm about 5'8", so there's still some room if you're six foot or more to stand in here. Beautiful tiled walls. It does have the aquamizer system that basically is going to save all of the cold water that's in your lines that, you know, are running through your system while you're waiting for it to heat up. They're going to recirculate back to the holding tank. And it's not filling your gray tank, so you're not, you know, filling that up faster. Once this turns color, you flip this over to hot, you take your shower, and you got a couple of beautiful shower heads here, a handheld and 
the big waterfall up here. Um, but, you know, the beauty of the Aquamizer is you're not filling your gray tank, you're not wasting your fresh water. And when you are in here, if you want to just take a seat, uh, you know, you've got your teak seat, or women may want to put their legs up there when they're shaving their legs. Heavy duty grab handle right here. And again, 50 by 34, I believe this is. It's about the biggest shower that you're going to get. And then right here, as we came in, we do have our washer dryer. <clears throat> now, this is a 220 volt Bosch dryer. It's Bosch washer and dryer, which is important. It, it you know, dries uh, a lot faster. And again, the King Air is the only coach where you can get the 220 volt. Then here we have our single vanity sink with uh, dual faucets. We have dual medicine cabinets, one on each side. And, you know, again, look how they finish the interior of these. Uh, you know, most companies are just going to have a, a mylar panel or, you know, some type of fiberboard back there, but, but Numar actually finishes it. Deep, single, stainless steel vanity sink here, and then you've got some great controls. Right now I've got all the lights uh, on, but if I want to turn my ceiling lights off, just go with my accent lights. I love the mirror one here, uh, my vanity light. I could actually turn that down a little bit. I have accent lights around the floor. I mean, it's just a great look all the way around. Let me get back and get all these turned back up. Um, Across from the sink, we have our toilet. And like I explained outside, there is an emergency door. And if you have a fire or an emergency that you have to get out, this is the way you want to go. All RVs have an emergency door in the bedroom, but you're climbing out head first, and it's a long way to the ground. There is a ladder down here. When I pull this panel, ladder would drop down, makes it much easier to get out. And this is only a one-way door locks from the inside there's no handle on the outside okay the other uh beauty of this floor plan is you get the full wardrobe in the back and if you take a look in there you've got a place to hang clothes all the way through you got a double bar on the far right there you have plenty of shelves here uh there are some video components your satellite this has got the in motion satellite on it up on the top shelf but if you wanted to you could put those lower and, and use that area for hanging clothes you also get the shoe rack and a safe in here and then under the sink again we've got three pull-out drawers on each side and these are all the soft close features so you're not slamming anything <coughs> have some room underneath your sink for storage Okay, let's back out into the bedroom. Now there is a little bit of storage underneath here. <clears throat> and you see we've got two folding chairs with matching fabric for our dinette booth. And then we've got a couple of leafs also. So you could pull that out a long ways. Probably even get six or seven people around that table if you needed to. Then we do have individual reading lights up here. You have power up here, so if you wanted to put your CPAP machine up and run it down, you've got a spot to do it here. Otherwise, both sides of the bed, you have a cell phone charger, and you've got power outlets and USB ports down there. So if you use an oxygen mach machine or a sleep machine, you've got a lot of uh, choices on where you want to set it up. So, uh, if we look across from the bed, <clears throat> we've got a little bit more storage area over here. 43 inch TV. Yeah. Seven, eight nice pull out drawers here. And if you notice under these drawers, we do have the uh, the fireplace, now that is actually a 5,000 BTU electric furnace. And if you want to use it for the furnace feature, you can. You can also turn the heat off and just use it for 
ambiance or, you know, mood lighting, things like that. Uh, another storage uh, cabinet over here, and you've got some more inputs for your TVs and so forth. Maybe you want to bring your own Blu-ray or something like that. Also throughout the coach, we have our, our KIB panels, which are the smaller ones. And then there are two silver leaf panels. There's one here and there's one up at the dash. Uh, when we get up to the dash, I'll go over this a little bit more. But uh, one thing I wanted to show you, if I go to my DC power, you can see we're, we're still at 84% uh, uh, on this. And, and I'll go over it a little bit more. But we are running our air conditioner on the batteries and the inverter. We're not plugged in, the generator's not working. So that's a nice feature that not many motorhomes have. Okay, let's uh, move into the kitchen area. First of all, we've got a nice pantry with full pull-out drawers. Looks like there's six of them right there. And then this is a 22 cubic foot Viking refrigerator. Nice big uh, freezer there for storage. Got another tray there. Now, the reason they can put this large one in is they've actually increased the ceiling height in these King Airs. So your slide out uh, header here is higher and you can see how much more room you've got. Most of them will only have the 19.7 cubic foot refrigerators. They're not quite as tall. Uh, you get the bigger one with the King Air. And across from your refrigerator, we have our half bathroom. Uh, I'll just go ahead and kind of open this up and let you get a look at things. <clears throat> Behind the mirror, you've got a pretty good size medicine cabinet also. If you notice the backsplash, the quartz countertops throughout, the uh, undermount sink, just a beautiful finish throughout. And then uh, also in this half bath, we get our fuse box. So our 110 breakers are right here. A lot of our 12 volt systems and fuses are right here. And they've got everything labeled for you over here. And again, some extra fuses. Okay. Coming forward, we enter the kitchen area and uh, they put their microwave in this nice cabinet here. Again, a Viking uh, 36 inch microwave, nice pull out little drawer there. That's all your owner's manuals and so forth. <clears throat> Look at all the room you have too. I mean, it's quite spacious, easy to have plenty of room to prepare a meal. So under here, we've got our Wolf induction cook surface. The, the King Airs all get the Wolf brand which is a higher end. And another thing about these heavy quartz uh, covers, we do have a cutting board on the back. That's kind of nice because it's just one more thing that you don't have to worry about. And uh, we've actually got a place here where we can store these. So, it, you know, they really thought this out well. Uh, we've got three sink covers here but it uncovers a massive one-piece stainless steel undermount farm sink. And the farm sinks come all the way out here to the front. This is about as deep as you get. Uh, we do have some uh, drinking water here. We do have a whole house filter. Uh, and these uh, actually are quite heavy. Then like I say, underneath here we had a pull-out trash bin. We've got another pull-out area here and place for cans or other items. And all of those have the soft close feature also. We do have the dishwasher on a pull-out tray. 
You need the 110 power for your dishwasher. The drawer with all the remotes, uh, you know, if you can figure out what everyone's <laughs> for, you win, I guess. <laughs> and then three more full pull-out drawers here. And that's a real deep one for pots and pans. All right, here uh, we've got our dinette booth. And the nice thing about this one, it's the 42 inch Euro booth. I showed you the two leafs under the table, but this pulls out an awful long way. And there's actually, you get it out far enough. There's a leg that drops down for support. So we've got the two folding chairs. You could put another person on the end. Like I say, plenty of room for, you know, five to seven people, I would say, uh, depending on how big they are. <clears throat> of course, the nice thing about the booth is you do get a little bit of storage underneath. Okay, again, I pointed out that we don't have cabinets overhead, and that was intentional, to give you this great view. And in a minute, when I get around to the theater seating, I'll, I'll drop the shades and point out some of the features there. Before I do that, I do want to show you your fold and tumble. Now, this is a 74-inch fold and tumble height bed. Let me get these off. It's actually quite easy to set up, and it's remarkably comfortable. That's a, a heavy-duty, uh, you know, high-density foam. I'll kind of lay here to give you some proportion. Uh, plenty of room if you're six foot to be able to lay on here. You can get a couple of adults on here easy enough. And this is your only extra sleeper on this unit. And there we go, just that easy. Okay, then across from our uh, sleeper couch, we've got the theater seating. And one of the things I like to point out, ooh, I just hit my massager here. Uh, these are massaging heated seats, which is kind of nice. They'll relax. And I talked about, we've got about a dozen of these KIB panels throughout, control lights and a lot of other things, but uh, one of the things that I'm going to point out, this is a really nice, let me see if I can find it, uh, systems, go into systems, it's got what they call theater mode, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that, number one, my TV is going to pop up, look at it, all my lights are dimming, all of my night shades are coming down. Got my massager on. Jeez, I don't think life could get much better than this. Very comfortable place to sit here and watch TV. These uh, front seats pivot around also. So, you know, you can see if you end up with four, five, six people or even more inside maybe because of bad weather, you've got room for them here, which is really nice. Now. Uh, since we're not going to watch a movie, I'm going to go ahead and, let me see, go back to my shades and my kitchen, living room, night shades. I'm going to go ahead and put those up. And generally during the day, I'm only going to want my day shades. So I can do them individually. Uh, each of these panels kind of controls the area you're in. So I'm going to lower my, my kitchen and living room 
day shades now. So same with the lights. I could go through and dim the lights or turn on my overhead reading lights. In the bedroom, it's going to control the bedroom lights, the bedroom shades, and so forth. So you've got about a dozen of these KIB smaller panels, and then two of the overhead panels, um, the uh, silver leaf ones. Oops, and I guess this one didn't go up correctly. I didn't notice that. Kitchen, living room, day shade. Let me get that back up and then that should come up even. Okay, well let's move up to the cab area. And uh, you know, <laughs> the experience really is about the drive, the journey, where you're going, how you get there. And there, there's no more comfortable diesel pusher, I don't think, than a King Air uh, until you get into the buses, the Prevos and the really high end stuff. So. When you come in right here, we've got most of our controls. You can see right here is our uh, silver leaf panel. I'm going to go to my, right there, my AC power. Shows I'm drawing 13 amps. These are my two inverters. They're both on. For DC power, I'm showing 82%. It also gives me my temperature inside. And if I look at my batteries, I, I like this one. Currently, uh, I've used 149 amps, uh, or I'm drawing 150 amps. I've got 1,934 uh, amp hours remaining, basically 82% of my batteries. And I am running that air conditioner directly off my batteries. It also gives you your temperatures. Um, if it gets too hot, it will cool them in there. In the winter, it'll turn a, a heater on for them. But I like the, the fact that they give this to you in a percentage, uh, how much battery percentage is left. With the AGMs and, and some of the old ones, you know, it might read 12.6 volts, 12.4, 12.2. It really isn't telling you how much charge is left in there. It's just telling you that the voltage is dropping. So I, I really like the way they do this here. Then of course, you know, if we want to go into climate, you can see cool and I am just running my living room right now and that was like 85 when we came in here so it is dropping uh, if I've got my generator on or plugged in you know I'll run all three of those um, we also let's see if we want to go to our heat we have an Oasis system the nice thing about the Oasis you have a diesel burner and then you have two electric elements. So in a 40, 50 degree weather, you know, once your coach is warmed up, you probably keep it warm electrically. You don't need to burn the diesel. It's a cleaner burning, more efficient system. That's why they use the, uh, the Oasis as opposed to the Aqua Hot. We do have floor heat. There are three different zones and I can set this from one to 10 in each zone. And that is a, an electric grid in the thin set, right under the tile. So it heats up and it cools down very quickly. All of that is taken care of right here. You can see over here, we've got our security lights, uh, passenger drape. Now, if I want to drop, uh, drop that. Sometimes when I'm driving, I'll have it down, you know, far enough to block the sun. You know, uh, when the engine's on and you're driving, the front one can't come down too far. It'll prevent you from doing that. They also put the controls overhead so you're not playing with them on the dash and accidentally blind yourself as you're going down the road. Uh, these are passenger shades. There is a security system on this one. You arm it right there. Um, driver side slide out controls, passenger side right here. Your outside LED, this is the step switch. I told you we turned off. This runs off the chassis battery so when it's on, Every time you open the door, those steps go in and out. You're, you know, draining a little bit of power. This is where you turn on your Wi-Fi router. Like I say, we do have the WineGuard uh, in-motion satellite. This is our solar panel charger over here. All right. Now, down on the dash, and uh, I do like uh, the King Air dash and the controls. First of all, let me... Uh, kind of adjust my steering wheel. So I've got a tilt right here. I've got a telescope to run it in and out. And my uh, angle on that. 
over here on the far left, now this is a little more traditional. They have not in 22, they don't have the dash on the shifter, but we've got our auto levelers. Now these are your hydraulic levelers, but this also has an air leveling system I'm gonna show you, and you can use that uh, if you're just pulling over, let's say for a night. Uh, six speed Allison 4000 transmission, and then we've got our tag dump, uh, we've got our engine brake, you turn it on and off right here, and then it is a three speed engine brake, low, medium, and high, depending on if I'm coming down a steep hill or maybe I'm just driving around town and I want it on low, I don't want it to engage real hard. That's all uh, done right here. You do have seat selection, so there's three different memories for the uh, seat you can program in there. Your ATC override, you do have uh, electric windows on here, and then you know, you've got two horns, your little one if you want the big one. They really know you're coming. Uh, house uh, battery, this is your battery boost right here. Uh, if you do happen to, uh, let's say, run your chassis batteries down and your, your uh, lithium ions still have full power, well, I can just charge it up with my chassis battery, uh, battery boost and uh, get my engine started right there. And this is that heavy tow mode I was talking about. So it tells you I'm in trailer mode here. What that's going to do when you've got, you know, 2,000 pounds of pin weight, that's a lot. It transfers that weight forward onto the front tire so it's not just hanging off the back. Uh, up here on the dash, let me get to my home screen and uh, go up here. Uh, one thing, we've got the adaptive cruise control. We can set that distance, you know, disable it, set it on short, medium, long. And what that is, it's, it's sensing the car in front of you and how close do you want to be to that vehicle before it starts slowing you down. That's what we're doing right there. Uh, we've got our TPMS, our tire pressure monitor system. And uh, keep in mind that you really need to be driving for these to calibrate themselves and be up to proper temperature. You see a difference on our on our rear tag axle of about five degrees, but once we get driving, I doubt that's the case. Um, info on the coach, now I've got a step out right now, it's telling me that if one of my compartment doors was open, it would uh, give me a, a red light right there. Here's my trip ticket, you know, if I want to keep track of my fuel consumption and mileage. Uh, different settings for the coach. Now here's the one, when I get into my comfort drive, and I'm going down the road. Now your comfort drive is an electronic steering assist. And what it's gonna do, it's constantly sensing the torque on the tires and so forth, and correcting for unevenness in the road. Maybe you've got a crosswind, and it'll bring the steering wheel back to the center position every time. The nice thing about the comfort drive is you don't have to steer it both directions. You make your turn, you let go, it returns on its own. So when I'm backing into a uh, RV park, or I want it, Let's go ahead and start this up and show you a little bit. When I want it set on a very low mode, so I can kind of turn it with one finger like I'm in a Cadillac. Maybe I'm watching my mirror or my backup camera. When I let go, you can see it comes back all the way on its own. And that, you know, while you're driving, that's a nice feature because it doesn't tire out your, your neck and shoulders as much. As I'm going down the road, I'm probably going to turn this up to three and a half, four or so at 70 miles an hour to tighten up the steering a little bit, the torque on the wheel itself. But if you've got a crosswind, you won't always be fighting that crosswind to keep the wheel in the center and keep the, the coach in the middle of your lane. It's doing that work for you. So that's the beauty of the Comfort Drive. Uh, let me see, let's get back into our settings. No messages, brightness, that's the brightness of the dash. Here's the air leveling that I wanted to, to tell you about. So uh, we can auto level right now. So let's say I come into a, a Walmart and I'm just gonna be there overnight. I don't wanna run my jacks down. Maybe I'm not even gonna put the slide all the way out. I can level it from my airbags. Now, <clears throat> we're on quite a bit of a slope here. There might be too much to do it off your airbags alone. So at that point, I'd want to dump my air and do it with the hydraulic jacks. But if you look here, we've also got a high ride 
and a low ride, what that means, let's say I'm pulling there in a garage and I've got an inch of clearance, I want to drop that to low ride and, and bring my airbags down as far as I can and still pull in that garage under the header to, to give myself some more room. Now, when I go to more here and hit this, you kind of see what I'm talking about with this leveling. Now, I could also auto level it this way with my airbags and it kind of adjusts. I'll go ahead and hit that and it takes a little while so we may not you know notice it a lot but these are going to start adjusting and it's telling you you know what you're doing but this is just a nice feature to have especially when you're going down the road you want a little higher ride maybe you're pulling in somewhere you want a little lower ride or I'm just going to be here for a couple hours I'm just going to level it right here and you know, uh, maybe leave my engine running or something like that. That's all done right here. So very nice, uh, convenient, easy to use dash. Uh, over on this side, uh, we've got, you know, our front end fan. We also have an auxiliary heater for the front end that works off the Oasis. Sometimes in the winter, it gets a little cold here. You want a little extra heat and you want to turn a fan on to, to keep that defrosted. That's right here. You've got your overhead fans. And that has a low, medium, and high. Docking lights on the outside, your courtesy lights, if you want a, somebody passing you and flash them that, you know, your brights will blink or your marker lights will blink, let them know that you're, you're clear. Uh, generator start stop, the entry door lock. These are your visors and your shades right here. And then uh, on our, on our uh, camera system here, let me get in our menu, go to my camera control. So uh, you see, we've got a lot of different choices here. You know, if we just want to look out the front, you know, there's our, uh, our producer in the van. And just look out the back. Now the beauty of looking out the back is this is kind of a normal view. I might want to get more of a, a broader view. Maybe I'm hooking up a trailer and I want to look right down there and see the ball of my trailer as I'm backing it up. So that's, that's a nice feature on your back camera. And again, we can do the side, you know, we can look down this side, uh, you know, at night, maybe you hear something out there, trailer cam, uh, entry cam. So we kind of get the 360 camera here, what's all around us. So a lot, of, a lot of controls right here on your camera. And then of course, uh, you've got your media center, your uh, uh, navigation, your mobile eye and so forth, your Bluetooth, the Bluetooth in a phone. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Kind of get this out of my way right now. Shut that off. And then over here on the passenger side, well, I may need my accessories here, so I'll just turn that on. This is an extra ride seat. Uh, we used to call it the grandmother seat. Both of these seats, driver and passenger, are heated, cooled, and there's a massager. And uh, we've got a controller in the back. But uh, I don't think the driver's seat can massage while you're driving. They don't want you falling asleep. But these pivot around, become part of the living room. On this side of the passenger uh, seat, we do have a monitor for them. So they can do a lot of the, the same features. Like I say, if you want to check different camera views from here, you can do it. Um, you can get in, do the uh, navigation and so forth. Let me see, there's what I was looking for. Here's our step cover. Now this is uh, one that you can stand on. It'll hold your weight, so you don't need to, to be too gentle with it. You got an overhead light there, a map light if you need it. Not that anyone uses maps anymore. I think that's an old fashioned term. Uh, but, you know, very convenient uh, uh, passenger seat and monitor right here to help out. Um, geez, I'm trying to think what I forgot. You know, you do get a little bit of storage up here. Keep your registration, your emergency numbers and everything in there. So once again, this is a 2022 King Air and it is the 4533 floor plan. Uh, Transwest, like most dealers around the country, we've got our 23 models here. The 24s are taking orders for, so any 22 on the lot, we're pretty motivated on. So if you have any questions on this, uh, please reach out to me. I think my number's popping up there on the screen, 970-631-0083. Feel free to text me or call me with any questions on this or any of our uh, units. 
uh, or email me if you uh, want to at mlove at transwest.com. Once again, I'm Mark Love. Thanks for tuning in. Happy trails, friends. Uh, enjoy the summer, and we'll see you next time.